Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a full face of Primark makeup. So I managed to try pick up everything that they had. I mean, I had to go to two different Primarks within my local town just to try and pick up everything that I needed. So let me just begin by telling you how much it cost me. Everything in total came to 15 pounds 80, which is a bargain for a full face, but we won't say anything just yet. We will try and see what the full face looks like and then we will give the full judgment first of all let me just say sorry about the background i know it's not the nicest i'm in my halls at uni i am fully aware that it looks like a prison cell and yes if you're wondering it does feel like one all the time and to think that i'm paying a considerable amount of money for this they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really but without further ado, let's dive straight into the video and I really hope you enjoy. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to start with the My Perfect Colour Concealer Stick. Doesn't look the best of quality, it looks kind of waxy. This, however, was 90p, so we can't really complain. <laughs> Oh, sorry that I actually pull really unusual faces when I do my makeup. I mean, when I do mascara, I feel like I always go like... If you feel like that you do the same, give me a comment below. Also, let me just say now, I do not think that I'm a makeup artist. First impressions, it doesn't seem to be blending that great. And it looks really oily on my skin, that's really unusual. So my skin isn't usually oily, but it's making my skin look really shiny and oily, which isn't good. But um, hopefully the foundation will sort this out. By the way, I don't believe that there's like much of a right or wrong answer of the process of putting your makeup on. You do you, honey. Next thing we're going to go in with is the Primark foundation tube. £2.50, I got it in the shade Vanilla, definitely doesn't look like my colour but it was the only one there so we will have to see what it looks like. Let's give this a go. Consistency is quite runny as you can see. First impressions, I'm thinking it's definitely not my colour but I can work with it. Concealer just to go under my eyes in that typical triangular shape. And then a bit down my nose, a bit here, a bit here, and I think a bit there. Okay, impressions on top of the foundation. It's brightening it, but it's not very blendable, which is really annoying. And this beauty blender isn't the best, it's kind of solid. But we're just gonna have to work with it. P.S. Just wanna say, sorry for all you out there that have to look at my atrocious face at the minute. Don't ask me why it's so spotty. I literally, I'm going through the most stressful period ever at uni. Like, life just isn't great for me right now. And you know what? I'm gonna have to deal with the consequences and those consequences are these bad boys all over my face. So, enjoy looking at them. I mean, if they're offending you too much, click off the video by all means. It's all about that. Okay, next thing I am going to go in with is the concealer stick in the shade Rich Espresso. So I'm just going to use this as my contour because 
they didn't have any powders or anything and not very good when it comes to um, cream contours so let, let me just uh, tell you that now <laughs> I don't really know how it works, don't even know if it's going to be my colour. Wow, that is very dark. Wow. By the way, I am using Primark Beauty Blenders, but the brush I did use in the beginning, that isn't from Primark. Um, I don't really know what this is from. If I can find out where it's from, then I'll link it in the comments down below. As you can see, they're not really blending anything. I feel like I'm literally just wiping the product off my face. I love this song so much. Now, I'm gonna go in with the foundation pressed powder, two pounds in the color porcelain. <laughs> not happy this is definitely not translucent powder I don't know if the camera's picking it up but this powder is so orange it has just reversed all of the concealer I've just put under my eyes and now basically I just look like a reincarnated Pimpa Limpa. the reason that the sky is blue and I know that he knows I'm a favorite I'm going in with is the eyeliners however I am going to be using it as an eyebrow pencil because this was the only thing that they had you get two colors in one a dark brown and like a medium to dark brown this was one pound I don't want to do this anymore I can definitely say that that was a big fat fail. Guys, never use eyeliner for your eyebrows because it is the waxiest, nastiest consistency to work with. And now I just look like a trollop with some big fat slugs on my eyebrows and I have no way of sorting this out. I can't even brush the product out. I just don't even think concealer is even gonna fix this. <laughs> What even is that shape? Like, <laughs> right now, I have no faith. Okay, so, carrying on, moving on. Next thing I'm going to go in with is the Nude Basics palette. This was £4, and this gives you 12 colours. These are the colours. I'm going to start with this colour here down here and I'm going to build it with this one as a transition shade that is quite peachy which isn't the colour it is in the palette I use this color, this color, this color, and this color. And now I think I'm going to go into the crease with both this shimmer here and this shimmer and maybe give it a bit of these. <laughs> Don't really know what I'm doing, but like I said, going with the flow. Oh my God. Can you see that? Primer. Primark came through. Okay, now I'm just going to go into my outer corner with this gold here. And then I'm going to go even deeper into my corner with the darker gold then. Next step is for highlighter. So, 
this is the brunch club highlighter and it's kind of almost like a silvery goldy color this highlighter was indeed two pound fifty so let's see what this looks like oh i really hope you can see that hopefully you can primark once again pulled through like i would go to say that this is actually as pigmented as the mac highlighter and i'm not even joking you that is something else like if i had a spray which i actually ran out of and primark couldn't find one if there was a spray involved that highlighter would be popping look at that i mean my lips are non-existent but besides the point you can still see that it's popping we love a bit of that put some in that inner corner you know just like every other gal does give it a go see what it's like a bit under the brow bone i look like a garbage bin or tin man off wizard of oz but yeah i look like him oh my god i didn't actually get blush but you know what i'm just gonna have to work with that too i mean Maybe what I can do for contour is I could just get like these three shades together somehow, get them three and make a mix. You know I'm gonna leave it go because I've got nothing to lose. Why not? Oh my god. I actually can't believe I've just done that. Oh my god, the camera's making it look so much worse than what it is. Why are you doing me dirty like this? The camera's really doing me dirty, guys, here, like, honestly. Like, I'm not saying I'm no makeup artist or anything, because I'm not, but... Do you know what? I'm gonna bother doing the rest. Like, let me just even this out the tiniest bit. Okay, I just look ridiculous. So, the next thing I am going in with is this lip liner it's in the color oh my god i can't say this toupee top um well yeah it's this color here you can see like a pinky nudie color and this lip liner was one pound so as you can see um i have no lips so we're just gonna have to overline them a bit um and just see how we get on because me and lipstick and me and lip liners, you know, we're just not the best of pals. I mean, you know, we don't really see eye to eye. I mean, we're just not a good duo. We're not a good combo, no. I'm not going to lie to you. But we're going to give it a go. Clearly, we can't open it. So this is the colour. Don't know if you can see it very well. Okay, let's give this a go. Okay, excuse how um, silly my lips look. Next thing I'm going in with is this nudie lipstick and it is called Skin on Skin and this was literally 90p. Yeah, so as you can tell, like I've said multiple times, my lips are non-existent so I never wear lipstick. Let's just see how this goes. I never wear lipstick. This makeup look doesn't even match but you know what? Your girl gave it a go, so that's all that matters. But um, yeah, this is the colour. It looks kind of red, it looks more ready brownie, but let's see. <music> Lip liner and lipstick definitely don't match, but we'll go with that. So I was hoping for on today's video that you know I'd find a brand new staple to my makeup routine, but um Clearly this, this collaboration just clearly doesn't want to work in my favour. Don't even expect to see me do eyeliner because that's something I definitely can't do and it's just kind of like an art that I will never ever be able to master. However, I did pick up some GWA 
lashes from Primark. So these were the lashes that I picked up. I'm now going to try to apply them. Okay, so eyelashes are now on. Excuse um, how bad they look. But I am literally just going to quickly go over with back with the new basics palette and I'm just going to grab a couple of the colours and just run underneath my eye just to kind of warm everything out a bit <laughs> I don't know why I do this with my mouth comment if you do the same I just feel like it makes everything so much easier when you're doing your makeup okay so that is the finished look I'm actually quite disappointed with Primark makeup or Primark makeup's good and my quality makeup putting on skills is appalling which it definitely is I agree with that however some of the products I was a bit shocked about some of them I was impressed like the highlighter this one I was impressed with that I was I was quite happy with that um lip liner isn't the same color as the lipstick lipstick you know pretty good can't really say how long all of it lasts um, maybe next time I'll try out a video on um, seeing how long product makeup lasts but all in all I think out of 10 I'll rate the makeup a solid 6 or 7 out of 10 not my makeup skills though <laughs> but eyeshadow I think is really good um, yeah so that is the end of today's video I really hope that you guys have enjoyed if you did don't forget to smash a huge thumbs up down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button make sure you turn post notifications on and I will be with you soon with a new video so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon with another video bye Mwah.